What's up, everyone? Have you ever tried the Red Extra yet? In the last video, I showed you guys how I built that 3D printed Red Extra. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the building. In this video, I will bring you guys more stuff to make. This, the front Extra, is also a differential system. Let's get started. Here you see the 3D printed parts like uh, axle housing and a few gears. We have three pieces shafts. In the middle, there are some ball bearings. I bought this online. Also, we need some M2.5 bolts, which are 10 mm in length. Lastly, one paper clip and a nail. All the details I will put on screen. You guys can take a screenshot when you start building this axle. Alright, let's move on. I'll start with processing these three shafts. The shaft will be put into this hole. The hole looks like a D-shape. So you need to form the shaft into a D-shape too. Before you start the shaft, you need to transfer the lens onto the shaft. Then you will know how much you need to cut the tip off. I round up to form it here. Grab a file. Just hold the file firmly against the shaft and keep it perpendicularly. Then just move the file forward backward. Don't try to finish this at one time. You need to try to put the shaft into the D shaft hole and see if the size fits or not. Please make this progress little by little. Once you have done this step, use the same method to finish another shaft. The driver shaft is still the same process, but you need to mark a 7mm here, as this driver gear is the 7mm thick. Take your time and patience. Try it to fit in this. There you are, you have done this part. Let's move on. We're gonna finish the pinning gears. The set is easy to make. Measure the distance from the bevel gear cover. Measure from this end to another end. The size is about 27mm, but I make it 26mm. Cut the nail into 26mm, then put the spacer in the middle. Two small bevel gears on both sides. Put one small ball bearing into the cover. Put a little bit of grease and push the bevel gear first, then the pinion gears. Apply more grease, as this is gonna help the gears to run much longer. The other side is pretty similar, always remember to put grease. Then put them together and use M2.5 bolts to fix them. Then you get this assembly down. You could put two shafts in it and be ready to move on to the next step. Place the assembly in the housing and make sure you put the shafts on the correct size. Two big ball bearings are placed on each end of the assembly, two small ones on each of the shafts. The next step is required and accurate measurements, as you are gonna put your prints in the correct positions, so please do it carefully. Use the marker like I do, we need to put two stop rings on each of the shafts. The two rings will limit the position of the shaft. So, this is an important step. After you mark it, then use a rotary tool to form the groove in the shaft. Please wear safety glasses while using it. I also found another way to make this step easier and faster. You could mount the shaft on a drill and use a rotary tool to process the shafts. But I don't recommend you do it too, as this is getting more risks while using multiple tools at the same time. Once you make the groove, you need to make a ring out of a paper clip. Cut it into the proper size and put it onto the shaft, like this. This is where I put stop rings. Take your time and patience to finish yours. You guys may notice that I put two white parts on each of the shafts. 
these are parts of the universal drawing. Still using the same process to make a D-shaped cut and put the yokes on the shaft. But keep in mind to make the shaft face tightly. Before you screw up the housing, don't forget to grease the gears. Then you complete the front axle. Alright, that's all in this video. Please let me know what you think about this video. Any questions, please comment below. If you like my making, please subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification, then you won't miss out on any updates. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share. I'm Tony. I'll see you in the next video.